Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this time trial guide. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can complete the time trials from May 28th until June 3rd. Starting off with the RC time trial. For this one, obviously, you're going to be needing an RC Bandito. So I'm going to leave it up to you if you find it worth investing into. For the time trial itself, the only thing you really have to worry about with this one is going to be traffic. The main reason for that is because you're going to cross a lot of the traffic sections and pedestrians might be a bit of an issue too, but they aren't really that common, especially if you you're going to try and do this time trial during the night while during night there can still be some cars driving past you there shouldn't be too much of a problem however it can still happen that you run into one or two cars Having said this, the time trial overall isn't too difficult. The main thing you really need to worry about really is to keep your throttle in check and not try to go too fast past every single corner because there's a lot of tight turns in this one and there are some sections in there that are a little bit on the uh, smaller side. Overall, not a very difficult one. Even with uh, a minor error or two within the footage that I'm showing off, I still was able to do it with at least 8 seconds to spare. So not difficult at all if you need the raw footage of either of these time trials you can find that in the description down below Moving on to the regular time trial. Now for this one, I am gonna give you two tips. Tip number one, don't use a bike because as you can see on your screen, you will fall off as soon as you land on the ground. Tip number two is for those who don't know how to even get onto the time trial at all. In order to do this, just follow what I'm doing on screen. Now onto the time trial itself. Now obviously you're going to be dealing with a lot of traffic in this one, particularly because the amount of tight roads that you're going to have to go through and with the oncoming traffic that you will have to deal with, it's going to be essential, and especially during this bit right here, that you go on the inside and slow your car down. Just let go of your throttle so you can smoothly go past these cars. From that point on, it is going to be purely based on RNG. Yes, you could use a pariah to have a little bit more chance and the route I'm taking should help you to avoid as much traffic as possible. However, there is always going to be one or two cars that are going to try to ruin your day and they most likely will. It even happened with myself, but in order to really try and see if I could actually beat the time trial still while having some uh, minor issues i guess the pariah is quick enough to correct some of those errors that you might have i had two smaller ones in a row like you could just see so yeah you're still going to be fine using a pariah because this thing is obviously as quick as it is having said this you could potentially try this with a slower car but the main thing you're really looking for is going to be top speed as well as traction you're gonna need two of those primarily because of the amount of traffic dodging that you're going to have to do so having a car that's going to be oversteer or understeer might be a bit of a problem and even with these errors that i made i still could beat it with three seconds to spare so again just get a car that has high top speed and decent traction and you should be more than fine and as a friendly reminder you can only complete these time trials once for the one hundred thousand dollars if you repeat them again you will only get two thousand dollars making it not really that worth it to try it again but with all that said and with all that done that was it for this one thank you also very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and i'll see you all later